But the most distinctive fact about demons is they desperately crave to occupy a body. They are not satisfied until they get inside a body. Preferably they would occupy the body of a man or a woman. But rather than be disembodied, they would rather go into the body of pigs. Because you remember the man of Gadara, the demons said, send us into the pigs. We don't want to be disembodied. What they didn't realize was that going into the pigs would cause the death of the pigs and they were left after that with the same problem again. But what I'm trying to deal with is you're dealing with a person who hasn't got a body and desperately craves to be in a body because as I believe only through a body can they exercise their ungodly lusts. If it's a demon of alcohol it has to have a human throat through which to consume. If it's a demon of sexual immorality it has to have sexual organs through which it can operate. If it's a demon of hatred it has to have emotions that it can play upon to work through. In other words, we are surrounded by an invisible host of persons without bodies desperately craving to occupy bodies <coughs> and desperately struggling not to be out of bodies. <coughs>